Hello everyone and welcome to the Car Code YouTube channel. I'm Sam, I'm at the Paris Motor Show and today I'm going to be having a look at the all new Volkswagen Tayron. This is the car that's going to be replacing the Volkswagen Tiguan All Face, so it's based on the MPV Evo platform that the new Tiguan's based on, but it's the seven seater model. So we're going to have a quick look around it today and see what it's all about. Let's start at the front of the car. You can see this has got the IQ matrix lights with the light up VW badge, which does look pretty cool. Nice, and then the new Volkswagen front end as well, which looks great. Got a chunkier face than the Tiguan. Looks a bit different. You've got new wheels as well on this one, 19 inches. And you can see the back here as well with the lit up rear badge and Tayron across the back there. That looks really great. And we'll show you the massive boot. It's huge. This is, of course, the seven seat version. And when there's a flight, it gives you 850 liters of boot space. Without the seven seat version, it gives you 885 liters in a five seat model. So incredible. Plug-in hybrid does move your boot space down a little bit, but you get well over 700 liters still. So very similar to the Honda CRV. You've got the parcel shelf in here as well. Like the Tiguan, it's a very clever system. This is probably even a little bit easier than the Tiguan one to put in there we go it goes underneath and i'll show you the rear space as well because that's quite important for a seven seater suv of course and as you'd expect you do have the electric tailgate as well which is great you can also opt for the swiveling tow bar and these have a great towing capacity as well which is excellent so in the back row this is your middle row if you like you've got the bars to move the seat forward or to move it backwards and of course the strap to recline the seats as well so that's really nice also you've got the built-in blinds really nice you see that on the passat as well and nice materials throughout the back definitely it's a nice size suv and definitely a good alternative for cars like the hyundai santa fe or the skoda kodiak on which this has got the same platform let's have a look in the very backmost seats now and see how that is and how it is getting in the back So there we go. So those just push forward like the all space. And then I'll show you this. So in the very back, you do have the Art Velours Alcantara seats as well on this Elegance, which are lovely. Really nice looking car. The headrests come up as well. Nice headrests. And then you can move these back. Of course, with it being on a slider, you can have these a little bit more forward. So you have a bit more space in the third row. Move this back. And I can still give myself a lot of knee room, which is really nice. Definitely feels more spacious than an all space did. So similar headroom, but I have a little bit more leg room and definitely more feet room. I can put my feet underneath these seats, which is a really good addition from before. The other all space felt a bit more like the C3 Aircross that I sat in today was very tight in the back of a seven seater, whereas this does offer that a little bit bigger. You can get other SUVs that give you a full proper seat in the back, but they're normally quite a lot larger, such as cars like the Kia EV9, but that's a massive vehicle. This stays relatively maneuverable enough for European cities and towns, but gives you that space. So that's nice. You don't have Isofix in the third row, but you do have it on the outermost seats here and then you have it on the passenger seat as well on the outside you can see it's in the nightshade blue which i loved on the previous tiguan so it's nice to see that back on the tayron let's take you inside this is the elegance model so it focuses more on the comfort and luxury it's nice and quiet in here it's blocking out all the noises from the motor show you've got the life the elegance and the r line which is the sporty one which is just over there You've got the huge 15 inch screen, which looks incredible, but a bit big. And then you've got the wood trim as well, which looks really nice. And Tayron is there on the dash. So that's great. Not everyone's going to like this very futuristic digital dash. There's not many knobs and buttons, but you do have this customizable one down here that you can kind of decide what you want to do with it. They're of course all automatic as well. And there's seven different powertrains to choose from. You've got the mild petrol hybrid and then you've also got two litre TDI models as well, like this one. This is the four motion 193 PS model. So that'll definitely please a lot of people that there's still a diesel option available. Also, e-hybrid, plug-in hybrid models will be available soon as well. With up to 62 miles official of range, which is very good. So you're able to have the best of both worlds with that and that competes against the Honda CRV Advanced Tech plug-in hybrid model. It's very similar inside to the Tiguan, so you've got this same column 
gear selector, which I'm not a huge fan of, but up front, incredibly similar, maybe a little bit more premium. Feels a bit more like the Passat in a way. Ditched effect on the dash, all very nice materials. Feels like a Touareg almost, and it does sit in between the Tiguan and the Touareg now. You can get it with five seats or you can get it with seven seats. So that's a nice mix as well. You don't have to have it as seven seater. You can get it with a five seat. This isn't a seven seat configuration. So it gives you a bigger cargo area, which is great for your practicality. If you don't need the seven seats, you don't have to have them. It does give you a little bit of extra space. So that's nice. Lots of leg room here as well. And then of course, these have still got the slidey bits and bobs from before. The back of the R-Line, you have this honeycomb in gloss black. Not sure about this, it's quite big. And in your face, I like the elegance, it's a bit more understated, but it's definitely sporty. This, of course, is an e-hybrid plug-in hybrid one, which means it's got the 1.5 TSI with the larger battery, that's a plug-in hybrid. You can have it with 204 PS or over 260 PS. So two different options there, which is great. This is quite interesting. You've got this sort of gray look on the wheel. I've not seen that before. So it's all kind of one color. The stitching's the same as well. Quite interesting. It's quite understated look, but very comfortable, nice. This one's got a Harman Kardon premium sound system that you can see there as well. So it's pretty much fully loaded this. The Tayron is expected to start in the UK at just under £40,000, there or thereabouts. Of course, going up and up depending on which engine and which trim you go for. The top of the ranges are the ones that you're seeing today with the Elegance and this R-Line here. But it's a nice option for a family vehicle and it's quite nice that they're giving the Tiguan Allspace its own name because it is a really great car and it can kind of do its own thing now rather than doing exactly what the Tiguan does. So I do like that. You can actually fast charge the car. Lots of plug-in hybrids don't have this capability. So the fact that this has got that is excellent. You can fully charge it in around three hours at home, which is very good. And at a fast charge, you can fully charge it in an hour or so from zero to 80. So that's very good. That's your indicator there. I do prefer the charge port to be at the rear of the car, but this avoids any confusion as the fuel's at the rear and then the charge port is at the front. You've got the new R badge down here as well. And this one is finished in your oyster silver metallic, which looks very nice. These are the York alloy wheels and I love them on the Golf. They're kind of incorporating the designs across the ranges of the vehicles. Definitely more sporty look. So that was a first look at the Volkswagen Tyron. Tayron, whatever you want to call it. The new Allspace, essentially. Should be a good car, and it's nice that you have the option of the seven seats. A bit longer than a Tiguan, and it does have a unique look to it as well. Even though it is very Tiguan-like, it offers something a little bit different. It's not going to be a cheap vehicle. It does remind me of the Atlas that you get in the US, but of course, a lot more expensive. You can see this one here is coming at 73,560 euros. So the prices do get high and this is the e-hybrid, the most powerful model, 272 PS. 62 miles official electric range is very impressive. And the option of two liter TDI engines should be great, especially for people who want to tow. It'll be quite a versatile option. Thank you for watching this quick video on the preview of the Volkswagen Tayron. I will do a full review once it lands over at the UK. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video.